All right, you know what? I'm cutting the engines. I'm deploying the gear. Here we go. Pulling the parachute. Oh, this is going to be really bad. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back in Stormworks and I'm going to be trying to use the space DLC to launch a boat into space. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, so here we have the Space Shuttle Discovery. If you want to download this, a link will be in the description. And let's go ahead, let's hop inside, and let's take a look at the payload. Alright, so here we are in the payload compartment. Now, if you're not familiar with the Space Shuttle, there are these uh, hatches up top. They open up, and then they can release whatever's in here out into space. Usually a satellite, or a part for a satellite, stuff like that. But today, we're releasing the starter boat. So... This should be pretty fun. Now you may be wondering, how do we operate that? Well, there's a pressurized compartment back here, and we use this controller to open it up. Now I'm not going to open it up right now because it'll just fall out and we don't want that, but we will when we are in space. So, let's go ahead, let's hop into the pilot seat and get it going. So it's very simple, we're just going to turn on the avionics, the lights, and the heater, and then we're just going to launch. Alright, so here we go, in 3, 2, 1... And there we go, alright, perfect. So we have just launched, and uh, yeah, here we go. Now as we're going into space here, you will need to use infinite fuel on this build, because um, I don't think it works without it. But yeah, nonetheless, it is a really cool build, and we can see the entire desert island just down there. Or should I say mainland, it's uh, a little larger than an island. But yeah, on a side note, I've actually always found the space shuttle pretty cool, and uh, it's nice to see it running again in Stormworks. It's actually starting to get a little bit darker now, and there go the boosters, and they are falling into oblivion, or probably just the ocean. Now at this point, the space shuttle is becoming a little bit unbalanced, because we've got the engines on the shuttle itself moving upwards, but we've got the massive fuel tank, which is still attached, and it's sort of creating some drag, which is pulling it forward, and we want to avoid that, because we don't want to go nose down. That would be pretty bad. All right, so here we go. We are almost in space. All right, let's quickly release the tank, and there we go. Uh-oh, that's not good. We're colliding with the tank a little bit, but we are now in space, and I've just realized that tank is going to be floating off for a very long time. Oh well, um, let's get the mission underway. So I'm going to quickly hop back to the control panel. There it is. All right, perfect. Now let's open up the hatch. There we go. There's number one. Let's open up number two. And there's the boat. And the boat has been released. Awesome. And I've just realized it is plummeting back to earth. I didn't necessarily plan for that, but all right. It's probably just going to burn up once it re-enters, but uh, there we go. And uh, here we have it. We are in space. We're not necessarily to the moon, which is sort of up there, but uh, yeah. All right, it looks like we're starting to re-enter, so that was super quick, but here we go. Now, the cool thing with this is we can still activate the rockets or the uh, engines at the back of the space shuttle. This will help us maneuver a little bit, so this will be good. Now, the one issue I noticed um, with this build right now is the re-entry and landing process. So, last time I flew with this off-camera to sort of set up this uh, video, I ended up crashing directly into the ocean, and I couldn't get the nose up. So maybe I was doing something wrong, but I don't know. We'll find out, because of course we're going to need to uh, re-enter, and we're going to be re-entering over land, which, um, if we're going nose down over land... You can put two and two together. That would not be good. All right, you know what? I'm cutting the engines. I'm deploying the gear. Here we go. Pulling the parachute. Okay, we are still descending really fast. Oh, this is going to be really bad. And there it is. Hey. I'm alive. I mean, the front of the uh, shuttle is damaged, but I didn't get injured. Let's try to escape here. There we go. All right. We did it. Now, um... Let's do it again. All right, the space shuttle's back, and let me show you what else I've added. So, we've got the boat, and we've also got a steam tractor. So, this should be pretty interesting. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong on launch, because when we launch, it's going to be really fast, as you saw before. And with two objects in here, it might get a little bit crazy. So, let's go ahead, let's go into the control module, and uh, yeah, let's uh, launch. So same as before, all we got to do is click the uh, launch button, 
or turn the launch key and we should be launching there we go so we figured out that we're gonna have to land in the water if we want the shuttle to not be damaged but if we are over land we can just pull the parachute and uh lower the landing gear and we should be good i think the spiraling technique is pretty good for keeping the space shuttle balanced usually the space shuttle is uh inverted on takeoff as it goes into uh the uh, upper atmosphere but here we're just going to try to get into space as fast as possible which means going directly up and i want to get a cool view of those boosters coming off and there they go oh wow okay um that wasn't good it just collided with one of the wings so yeah probably best not to do that now let's see if we can get some more hang time in space so i'll keep the rockets going for a little bit it's gonna be really difficult to control but i'm gonna try my best yep as you can see it's starting to go a little bit crazy but i'm trying to control it all right there we go release the tank and we're good there we go all right here we go let's open up the doors and we'll let them go so there goes the boat it's crashing into the space shuttle a little bit and uh let's see that tractor go the tractor seems to be a little bit stuck so i might have to go out onto the airlock let's see will it free itself it might it looks like it is it's hard to see but yep there it goes it's moving very slowly but there we are it seems like that boat went flying off but the tractor it's just floating there actually we should be able to see it from back here let's take a look let's go back a little bit yep there it is and we can see the uh, earth below and actually we might be able to follow this tractor back to earth oh boy it's moving fast okay there it goes so let me do something real quick i'm gonna set a waypoint for where we are so just here and we'll look for the tractor and i'll try to keep the uh vehicle's nose down so we'll just land right where the tractor landed and if it is there that'll be pretty cool all right i cut off the engines and we're just gonna drift it down probably want to deploy the parachute now there we go all right we are sort of landing we're gonna crash into the water here and there we go all right we have made it all right let's uh escape there now let's look for a tractor i'm gonna use no clip here to sort of search around i would assume it would have sunk all right i've been looking around in the area of where it could have dropped and i don't see it it may have just unloaded well then despite this video being a bit short i did find this quite fun and if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.